Breakdowns, your one and only source for such great, insightful judo commentary that you can only find on the internet of this particular quality, <laughs> as in low quality, but low quality is better than no quality. Um, and we've been covering a lot of the uh, Paris Grand Slam this week, and so because it is just happening this weekend, so. It's fresh off the uh, mat, as it were. And what we have for you today is a match uh, in the women's under 52 category between Amadine Bouchard and Alexandra Coletta. Uh, once again, I'm sure both the Polish and the French are shuddering at my pronunciation. Disclaimer applies. Uh, so let's just jump into the match. So in white we have Amandine and in blue we have Alexandra. Okay. Just getting established. Yeah, this is a very pro Amandine crowd, obviously. They're in France and she's a French fighter. I'm assuming that this commentary is in uh, French as well for this match. Um, but if you don't speak French, it's not going to help you. So if you do want the French one, I've put it uh, in the description, the link to the original. So you can listen to what a real pro sound like versus me. <coughs> uh, it looks like uh, Coletta or Alexandra is uh, pretty willing to engage in the Nebwaza. So that's good, uh, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. So the the sequence has to keep going. The progression has to keep going. And it is. I wonder. Okay. Good turn in. Yeah. Good push off. Good. Ooh. Okay. Okay. The mate is called. Okay. Yeah. You could argue that that the sequence had already been broken a little bit earlier. Um, but I kind of like keeping the scramble alive longer as long as stuff's happening that's my own personal preference though but that's where all the action is is in uh, the transition and things happening oh, oh that was a nice attempt it was close close call Okay, so trying to grip grips there. Okay, yeah, you know, uh, Amadine is the initiator in most of these yeah attacks. I think it's like the last three, four. Yeah, there's a very weak attack from uh, Alexandra there. That attack from Amadine mm, was okay. I don't know what the Polish coach is trying to tell Alexandra. Polmore. Yeah, she's going to get penalized. That was not really a real attack. If you're going to go for that, you definitely would need more sushi, right? So. so, yeah, okay. Okay, so what is she going to go do from the script? Anything? Okay. Uh, oof. Okay. Well, it is a, an attack. It's a hard one to pull off at this level. I, you know, you, I don't think you see that uh, very often. So, um. okay. Okay. So. <laughs> So, so far, my assessment is that Amadine has been the aggressor, but the, the attacks have been sort of um, half a step away. Yeah, like even that drop was, it needs to be a bit closer for that to work. And Alexandra has been more countering and trying to get something in the, the ground on her. Yeah, that's it. Oh, 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 oh. 
She is more explosive for sure, Avondine. So, you know, if she catches Kaleda or Alexandra, then I wouldn't be 100% surprised. But, you know, if she attacks, it fails, and ooh, she gets caught in and some Nawaza, then I think that's viable too. So that's that seems to be the strategy there, right? Like, from Alexandra, and hopefully she doesn't Shido out in from her perspective. <laughs> Amandine, I'm sure, is, would be more than fine with that <laughs> if that happened. Yep. Chopping wood, okay. <laughs> yeah, see, even, even from there, she's trying to, like, climb her, right? So you can tell it's sort of a more Nawaza-based... Uh, strategy, or it seems to be, anyways. I'd like to see like a big commitment throw, though. Come down the pipe. At this point, you're you're basically into golden score, like less than 30 seconds to go. Nobody's got anything, so if you score now, it's very unlikely that there'll be a score afterwards. So, was that enough? I don't think it is. They're calling. Did they call a score? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, hesitation has been like a history of inconsistent scoring. I'm glad that wasn't a score, but I've seen a score and get annoyed. So good. All right. Let's see it. We still got. I think we're going to golden score probably. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> she lets out a big sc uh, scream. Hard fought. Good, good. Oh, congratulations to Amandine. Uh, that was very nice. Let's uh, let's have a look at that end sequence one more time. Um, I think... So... Yeah. Nice and deep. You can see uh, the shoulder is past the midway point, and uh, there's a drive that's going on, a strong drive upward once she's through. So the shoulder is deep enough in, like it's past here. She's deep in, like you can tell the body is like down where the hip is, so that's about as deep as you can get. And uh, it's a good drive coming through, right? So. It's good, you know, and I think the flaw with her prior attacks would have been like, uh, just like half, like, you know, in her attacks, not that she'd used this attack before, but those attacks probably could have worked if she was as deep in as and committed as this one, right? I think those, those throws were there. It's just like, she didn't get in all the way, right? And this one she did, obviously, so... Okay, that's that's great. Good good for congratulations to Amandine for that uh, throw. And um, that's all I have for this match. If you have any comments about this match or about the channel or if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. Um, until next time, have a great night.